Boris Johnson has been urged to axe VAT on COVID tests for travel, saving families hundreds of pounds. Travel industry leaders and politicians warn the punitive costs of tests are threatening the sector's recovery and unfairly penalising Britons looking for a long-awaited foreign holiday. And it has also emerged that the PM threatened to demote Rishi Sunak after reports the Chancellor called for travel restrictions to be eased. Currently a family of four travelling to Spain could pay more than £1,300 on PCR tests even if adults have been vaccinated, including a mandatory test before returning to the UK and then a day two PCR test once home. The Sunday Express has been told talks have taken place in government about removing VAT, which adds 20% to test costs. Industry figures had been briefed to prepare, in the coming days, for a major government announcement on the issue, raising hopes the price may finally be coming down. But a Treasury source last night sparked anger by insisting that ending the holiday tax is definitely not something we are looking at. The issue of travel has caused tensions to flare at the very highest level of government. Last week, Chancellor Rishi Sunak wrote to the PM calling for travel restrictions to be eased because they were so damaging to the economy. However, Mr Johnson was first aware of the letter when it was published in the media. Yesterday it was claimed he was so angered by the apparent leak he threatened to demote Mr Sunak to health secretary. But a Downing Street source said the PM was joking when he made the comments. Overseas travel has been a difficult pandemic issue for the government, with a bewildering range of often changing rules. Just last week it announced Mexico would be on the red list from early this morning. This meant travelers, some of whom were en route when the change was announced, were facing hefty bills. They had to choose between returning to Britain ahead of this morning or paying thousands of pounds to stay in a quarantine hotel when they did come back. The confusion is adding to anger over the government's handling of the crisis, with Boris Johnson's personal poll ratings hitting a new low. Opinium found his net approval rating has slipped to a record minus 16, from minus 13 two weeks ago. Despite this, experts said they were cautiously optimistic another lockdown would not be needed. Recent surveys have shown that one in four Britons want to take a holiday abroad this summer, but 10% 6.8 million people would be more likely to travel if the cost of tests could be brought down.